so in this video I'm talking about how to stop pain and certainly not talking about physical pain but the emotional pain that we keep holding on to which doesn't seem to have an end and so the question is what is there to do or even is there an end and it's important to look through the origin of it where is all that pain coming from and it's usually coming from some sort of trauma a lot of time buried in childhood as well and you might think you know I didn't suffer through any childhood trauma I could say the same thing about me you know my parents are still together I didn't go to war we always had food on the table so it even seems disrespectful in a way for me to say I suffered through childhood trauma when there's people who went through some really tough stuff in third world countries or some abuse in their childhood all that kind of stuff however for kids, the subjective reality is very subjective. And um, in a way, trauma can also be defined as a strong emotional impact that one is not able to handle at that time. It can be being picked on. It can be you losing or your parents losing you in the grocery store. It can be you waiting for your parents longer than you thought. And that can lead to fear of abandonment and all that kind of stuff. So. It's important to have a little bit of a broader perspective of what trauma can be. And most likely you have forgot about that uh, trauma as well, that you can't remember those. The thing is, most of the time it's not that we cannot remember them, it's that we do not want to remember them. So by digging deeper, you might have some things coming up. Or you might be even a little bit further ahead in your healing journey and you know exactly what type of event happened that um, that caused that pain or that is causing you this pain. So what is the things that society does nowadays to stop that pain? Well, there's the famous Jordan Belfort uh, movie scene uh, with, you know, I want, to I want you to deal with your problems by getting rich. And it's better to cry in a Ferrari than to, it is to cry in a Honda. And in a way, I, <laughs> I guess that's true. At the same time, I would, for me, it's even more important to not be driven and not be a slave to the things that happened in my past. In a way, our goal is freedom, financial freedom and independence is a big part of it, but having emotional freedom as well so you can live life truly on your terms is probably just as important. Um, so that's one aspect, okay, if it's not necessarily um, the way that society is telling you to deal with your problems, which is really helpful. What is it? Well, there's probably things in your life that you're unhappy about, that you wish were different, but they're not. And the more you wish that it were, was different, the more resistance you have to that certain event, the more resistance you have to reality, and the more suffering it will cause you. So the very first step, and also one of the hardest, is to have acceptance, and acceptance of the things that happened, not wanting to change them anymore. And a lot of people think of acceptance as a very passive state. Should I just not do anything and uh, be acceptance of, accepting of all the horrible things that happened to me or that people did to me or whatever. And there's a big misconception about acceptance because acceptance, acceptance is actually a very powerful state because once you accept reality the way it is, once you can take responsibility for it, you can also take the next step and understand how you created that, how you might have been playing that victim role and through that there comes responsibility and also your awareness that you can change the situation as well. So now that you accepted your situation, you can actively go on and improve it. What conversation do you need to have? Who, you, who do you need to reach out to? Who do you need to forgive in your life? What elephant is there in the room that everybody knows that it's there, but nobody is talking about it? That's exactly what you should tackle to get to the other side of that pain. And once you have that level of acceptance, once you start doing the work, reaching out to people you need to reach out to, making peace with your past, then the next step is you actually gain compassion and understanding for yourself for your process, for other people's process. Because 
And of course, from I'm feeling hurt, uh, I wish things were different, to being grateful is most of the cases a too big of a step to take. So that's why we have to have acceptance before, but to ultimately graduate from that pain, there even needs to be a level of gratitude and compassion and knowing that it served you, that that pain served you to grow in your life. You also might ask yourself, so how do I know this information? Well, it's because I went through it myself. I had a ceremony where I saw all of my past mistakes and the things that I was holding on to and really accepted myself, all of my mistakes, the way I was. And after that, a very deep level of peace came into my life and that was a new baseline. Of course, I still get upset and there's some things that um, I'm working on, but that baseline of freedom and acceptance and peace came after um, the acceptance. Let's talk about an example. Let's say a father figure or somebody's father left when they were a little kid or a little girl. And of course, there's a lot, a lot of cases, a lot of resentment and maybe even saying, oh, I'm better off without him. And, you know, maybe you are. At the same time, there's probably a lot of pain still associated. Um, with that event but if you look one step deeper you know back in the days um, you, we think about our parents as being those amazing people and they're all amazing at the same time they're not perfect they have their faults and uh, even in a lot of cases they had even less tools than we have at our disposals and they did the best they could at that situation and having that acceptance and understanding for them and forgiveness for them that they did the best they could. And if you are 100% honest with yourself, if you were in their shoes with their trauma, with whatever their experience, with the tools that they had, there's a very high likelihood that you would have acted very in a very similar way as well. So having acceptance that this, this event happened, then also coming forgiveness, compassion, then gratitude, how it helped you uh, grow is a step for you to let go of your pain. Also, what's your experience? Are there things that are still haunting you and that you cannot make peace with? And I know it's a very personal topic. However, if you feel um, feel like you want to share, feel free to uh, post it in the comments, leave a like to the video so more people get access to this information. And um, if you like this type of content of inner healing, growth, then Subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video.